Let's use some basic algebra to come up with the power reduction formula. We begin with the given cosine 2 theta is equals to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now we want to get rid of the sine squared theta, so we need to solve what sine squared theta is. We're also given that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equals to 1. So we can rearrange using basic algebra to solve for sine squared theta. Sine squared theta is equals to 1 minus cosine squared theta. So now we can actually plug this uh, result into here. So this result sine squared theta goes into here and we end up with cosine 2 theta is equals to cosine squared theta minus 1 minus cosine squared theta. And some of you may have already mem memorized that uh, cosine 2 theta is equals to. This here is a cosine 2 theta and negative, negative, two negatives make a positive. So we have 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So now that we have the cosine 2 theta is equals to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, we can actually um, use some basic algebra to come up with this final result. So I'm just going to copy this down quickly. We came up with cosine 2 theta is equals to cosine squared theta minus 1. And I'm simply going to subtract, simply going to add 1 to both sides. So when we add 1 to both sides, we get plus 1. And then finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And so these cancel out. And so what we have is cosine squared theta is equals to 1 plus cosine 2 theta all over 2, which was what we were trying to prove initially.